In this video, we're going to look at how we can do mail merges in pages on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. This was a feature that was available in older versions of Pages, Pages 09, and if you wanted to use it in newer versions of Pages, you had to use an Apple script, and you could only do it on the Mac. Well, now we can do a mail merge on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's see how. Let's first look at this on my Mac. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you're updated to the latest version of Pages. So what I recommend you do is go over to the App Store, search for Pages, and make sure that it is updated. So I have the latest version of Pages. Let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to go and create a new document here. Let's just go with an essay. Now, what I would like to do is merge this with some contacts, some contacts from my contacts app here. I could also use a number spreadsheet, but I'm just going to use the contacts app. So what I want to do is put a first name in here. So I'm just going to go dear first name. And what I would like it to do is fill in that first name with the first name from my contacts. This is what a mail merge does. So if I have 10 contacts, what it will do is it'll print out 10 different letters here or essays all addressed to different people. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do is just go over to document in the upper right hand corner. And at the very bottom, you're going to see mail merge. Again, if you have not updated to the latest version of pages, you will not see this. So I'm going to click on mail merge. From here, what we can do is we can see all of the different fields. So right now it has one field. Well, where is that field? Well, all we have to do is just take a look at the color here. We can see it as green. And when we look at my document here, you're going to see I have a green field. So that is what this field is. So this full name here is my name. And it is using my name because I have it set to use as a sender field. So it's coming from me. Now, remember, what I would like to do is I would like to have the first name here. How do I add that as a field? Well, all I have to do is just select it. So I select both words there, first name. And then what I do is I go down to the bottom here and you're going to see add merge field. I select it and I select what field it is. This is going to be a first name. You can see it's pretty simple. Select it. And now we have my first name. We can see that it is purple. And when we go over to my first name here, it is purple. So if I wanted to add another one with last name or address or anything like that, all I have to do is just start typing what it is I selected, and then I just go and add a merge field. So that's basically all there is to setting up the document. Now what I want to do is I want to merge them. I want to merge them from names in my contacts. How do I do that? Well, all we have to do is just go up to merge here, now that we have our document set up, and then what we're able to do is select from our contacts. This is what I'm going to do. Or you can select it from a spreadsheet. Maybe you have all your names in a spreadsheet. So from here, I'm just going to use contacts. I can select what group I want. Or I'm going to go with my family here. And now we can say I have two records in my family group. If I want to preview them, I click on preview. And there they are, myself and Abigail. So now what this is going to do when I merge this is it's going to create a document that has Abigail in here. And then it also has, if I scroll up, John in here for Johnny Appleseed. And we can see that the sender's name is myself. So that's basically all there is to creating a mail merge document. We basically just have to go over to document here and then we can see all of our different fields we can add new fields. Once we have them all set, we just click on Merge. We select which contacts we want to merge it from. We can select from a group in our contacts, or we can select from a number spreadsheet. Now, how does this work on the iPad? Well, basically, it works the same way. We have a little different way of doing it or finding our mail merge. Let's go over to my iPad here. And I have the latest version of Pages, so I'm going to open up Pages. We're going to create a new document again. We're going to go with the essay. And now what I want to do is go in here and type in dear first name. 
So I have my first name in here. Now I want to find where I can create a mail merge for this. To do that, what we do is we go up to the three dots here, and under the three dots, what you're going to see is mail merge. I select mail merge, and from here, what I'm able to do is see all of my fields. We can see we have a green field, and here's my green field. I want to add a new field. All I have to do is just select it. Then we go back over to my mail merge. I tap on the plus here. This is going to be my first name. And now we have my first name field here. We can see that it is purple and it is purple here. So we can easily create more fields just by clicking on the plus. I have it all set. Now all I need to do is just click on merge. I select who my sender is. That is myself, so I can select the contact here for myself. I am the sender. And then I can select if I want it from my contacts app or my spreadsheet. And then I can also select a group from my contacts. So let's go with family here. We're going to have my two contacts in there. And now all I have to do, let's go ahead and select Dan here. I click on Merge. And now it is merging those. We're going to open it up and we can see we have my Abigail. And then we also have John here. Those are my two family, Abigail and Johnny. Let's take a look at this on my iPhone. I have the latest version of Pages, so I open up Pages. Now I'm going to create a new document. We're going to Go with my essay template again. And from here, what I want to do is go dear, first name, with a comma, and hit return. And now I want to create a mail merge. So I'm just going to select this here. So I have the two, two words selected there. there we go. A little bit trickier on the iPhone. I tap on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. And when I swipe up, you're going to see Mail Merge. All I have to do is just tap on this. We can see my one name. I do have a field selected, so I can tap on the plus. I go with first name. Now we can see that I have my two fields there. I tap on Merge. I let my iPhone access my contacts. And from here, I select myself. I am the sender. So we're going to go with Dan here. And then I can also select contacts or spreadsheet. I'm going to leave it with contacts. We're going to go with my family. So it's going to pick Johnny and Abigail. And now all I need to do is tap on merge. It is merging them. I'm going to open it. And now we can see we have Abigail there. And if I swipe up, we have John and I am the sender. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to do a mail merge, much easier than how we had to do it in the past. We had to set up Apple scripts to do it in the past. Now we can just do it right from within pages and we can do it on the Mac, iPad and iPhone. We can use our contacts app or we can use a number spreadsheet. We can select from a different group in our contacts. We can create new fields and assign those two fields from our contacts app. To view your mail merge options, on the Mac you go to Document in the toolbar, and on the iPad and iPhone you go to the three dots and you're going to find Mail Merge. From there you can see all of their different fields, it's going to color code them. You can add new fields if you have text selected. And then once you have everything all set up, you can tap on Merge, select who your sender is, and then select your contacts to be merged from. So that's how you do a mail merge with pages on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.